My dog CJ and I did everything together. He was my running buddy, my traveling friend. He was right there for me during my battle with breast cancer six years ago. And here's Jackson. He would run to the door and bark, wah, 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 and ask him, don't you know somebody's at the door? Come on, come on, come on, get the door, get the door. Evelyn and I lost our dogs around the same time. They both died at separate vet's offices once they were put under anesthesia. His heart became weak after I sedated him, and we were trying to bring him back. And I said, okay, so how's Jackson? Mm -hmm. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. It, that was the worst shock in my life. How difficult. I understand. I understand. Wait. When you have a... Jackson had a minor injury, but he was not taken to his regular vet. When you have a dog, he's like, it's a, it's a different feeling. My heart went out to Jackson, and his heart went out to me. My dog, CJ, was taken to his regular vet. Here at Petwell Veterinary Healthcare, to have his teeth cleaned, CJ was six. He had just gotten a physical the month before. His health report was excellent. Jackson and CJ were both healthy, energetic dogs. It's not normal to lose a pet, a healthy pet under anesthesia. Every now and then that does happen. There is just no 100% guarantee that when a pet goes under anesthesia, they will wake up. Dr. Ashley Alford with the Village Vets did not treat my dog or Jackson. Anytime you're putting a pet under, you're, you're trusting um, the veterinarian and that team. One of the most difficult parts of our job is to actually um, lose a pet. Why shouldn't he be remembered? Mm -hmm. Just like anyone else. Evelyn got sister. another dog, well, but it's been a challenge, and she still really misses her beloved Jackson. But it was someone and something that I loved. He made a difference in my life.